Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I decided I could, you know, do a little vlog of my weekend. This might not be interesting to anyone because nobody's watching this, but who cares? I want to do this and I got a new camera and it's amazing. And look at my face. Look at my very ugly baggy eyes because you can and the autofocus is amazing. You want to see my cat in the corner right there? Do you see her? Let's just zoom you in. Hi, Diva. She, she's like, I don't want to talk to anybody. So right now, I am cooking pizza. And then I'm going to eat pizza. And look what just came out, which is exciting. I feel it's not on fire. Nine. Yay. I've been waiting for this for, yeah, a year. We've all been waiting for this for a year. But anyway, um, so I'm going to eat my pizza, watch this, and then I'm going to take a relaxing bath and read the book I'm currently reading. I am currently at chapter 6, page 76, I think, of Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. So I just got out of the bath and the this look and I haven't read in the bath because I just enjoyed being the hot water so right now I am going to continue Everything It Leads to You by Nina LaCour with this cat, this buddy. Hey, Lucky! He's my derpy friend, and I love him. And here we are with Lucky in this beautiful Christmassy vibe, and we're gonna read. What do you think? Oh yeah, he's gonna be a distraction. Oh <laughs> look at him! He wants me to cuddle him again. Oh my God! He just sat on me. You see how this is gonna be a problem. I know he's, his eyes are crossed a little, so let's just love him. Oh yeah, he's so nice and cuddly. Hi everyone, so the last time you saw me was Saturday and now it's Monday night. And uh, yeah, the reason why I haven't updated you guys is because I didn't read anything uh, after my bath actually <laughs> so uh today is it's november 27th and i have read a little bit of everything leads to you by nina lacour i am actually on page 137 I'm gonna keep reading this bad boy and hopefully i'll be finishing this really soon because i'm almost halfway through and i really want to read more until the end of the year um but you know, life's crazy and school is crazy. Um, there's three weeks left of this semester. So I have still a lot to uh, do for school. Lots of homeworks and lots of writing. And my cats are making noises, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what the reading is gonna look like for the next three weeks but uh, I don't have any work uh, right now um, I'm in between jobs so at least that gives me a little bo a little bit sorry more time for entertainment so I'm gonna read and hopefully at least get <sighs> I don't want to see 200 pages in because that's insane but like another 40 pages would be great this is peanut mm, a pretty little cat oh there is the cords on my camera and she wants to play with it but that's not a toy sweetie She's so cute. I love her so much. And the other one's right there. Hi! 
Hey, how you doing? Cute little kitten. She lives hiding under the bed. So, it is an hour later. And I am at page 195. This is so good. It is fantastic and i've heard very mixed things about this book and i don't understand how people cannot like this at first i i was really hesitant um about the setting and everything but i just love those characters so much and it is so interesting this is fantastic and Nina LaCour's writing is just so beautiful. This is so amazing. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to read max 30 minutes more and then go to sleep. And I'll update you later on with my readings. We'll see you all later. Bye. I don't know what happened, but it froze. So, yeah been doing a lot of homework because there's only two weeks left of school and it's crazy but I've been trying to um, schedule my YouTube videos and I think I might want to do three videos a week which is insane I know <laughs> I might not be able to do but that's what my plan is so far I've edited one that's gonna be coming up before you see this this week and then you know with my weekly vlogs it should be three videos a week if I can and if I cannot it's gonna be only two videos a week which is pretty good and that's what I want my upload to be like on a um, regular basis you know so that's what I'm gonna try to do but uh, so I am going to keep on reading and I will update you later so let's go back to this bad boy which is probably gonna be one of my favorite book of the year if it keeps on this way this is gonna be a favorite so good just a little update blah, blah, blah. I cannot speak anymore but just to update you on my reading of this, I am currently on page 255, which is pretty good. It's about um, 60 pages more than what I was at earlier today. It's now 9.32, um, so I'm still going to be reading just a little, not more than two or three chapters maybe. And then I'm just going to go to bed because I got to sleep. Because there's still homework to do tomorrow. This book is so good and the world is so fantastic and unique and so well developed. And I wish I had people to talk to about this. I am obsessed and it is very different from the first book. But it is so good. I think it might be better. I don't want to say better because... It couldn't be better than the first one, but it might. It is just so good. I want more. I want more, like, right now. I don't know if the third book has been announced or anything, but I'm gonna look that up um, just to see if I might hope for something after that. Um, but yeah, it's so good. And, like, I want to get through it because it's so amazing, but at the same time, I don't want to get through it and I want to like savor it and never and I don't want it to ever end but uh, it has to end someday somehow but this might be my favorite book of the year it might be my favorite book of the year which is crazy because I thought my favorite book of the year was to uh, a long way to a small angry planet but this is just so amazing <sighs> yep anyways um, I'll see you tomorrow in two seconds.
So it is now the 6th of December. Last night I finished uh, Close and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers and oh my god guys, it was the best book I have read this year unless I read a better book uh, until um, before the end of the year but seriously, it was so damn good, it was amazing and I loved it so so much and I cannot wait for the third book which is coming out only in 2018 which is way too far away um, so I am excited <laughs> for the new book um, but this guys, it was so good the characters, uh, the two main characters uh, Sidra and Pepper, I think her name is were so wonderful, they were amazing um, the world building was again so fantastic and the thing is that it's so character driven that it's so crazy how the world building is so well done um, I just I'm impressed with this author and I cannot wait for more um, I almost want to reread uh, the two books almost instantly it is so I'm good and I need people to talk about it with me so I'm probably gonna do a review for this series um, when I reread them and I really want to reread them in January so I'm definitely gonna do that but for now that is my um, reading update uh, from what I read or what I plan on reading uh, for the last the next couple of days it's probably gonna be Red Rising by uh, Pierce Brown because I'm definitely in the mood for some sci-fi or it might be uh, Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire and yes there's no dust jacket because I am at my parents house and I didn't want to um, get it crooked so there Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire um, it's a very tiny book so uh, those are both uh, candidates for my next read. I am not sure if, which I'm gonna pick, uh, but I guess you'll see later today because I am gonna try to read a little even though I have so many things to do uh, apart from this. Uh, this is gonna be a busy day. Trust me on this. It is now um, the 8th of Decem December 8th and yes, I'm still wearing the same thing um, <laughs> uh, since the last time you saw me, but uh, yeah, I haven't read a lot of Every Heart a Doorway more. I only read four pages more, I'm 44 pages in. Um, I had a very busy day yesterday, so I couldn't read any more than that. Um, but I pr will probably read more in my uh, break this uh, weekend, so you will see that in my other vlog. So hi everyone, it is it has been two days since I last updated you. It is now December... something? I don't know. But uh, yeah, I am going upstairs to show you the books I have read um, in the weekend. Okay, I need to be quick because my camera is dying. But the first thing I finished uh, this weekend is Every Heart of Doorway by Shannon McGuire. You've heard me talk about this a lot. But wow, I am really out of breath. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. It was so good. Um, I think I gave it four stars because of the length which I thought was a bit lacking. I would have wished for it to be longer, but it was still amazing and I'm talking too fast and I'm out of breath again. But uh, yeah, everybody should read this. It's super short, it's super fun. The characters are amazing. The world is amazing. Uh, yeah, so good. Next, I read the first volume of Alex and Ada and this is by Jonathan Luna and Sarah Vaughan. Uh, I hit myself in the face with this. But it was super good, um, really enjoyed it. I cannot wait to read the second and third volume, which I might read next week, because I'm gonna go to my library and get myself a card to go and pick those up, because I saw they had them, and my cat is hitting me in the face with his tail. So this is fun. <laughs> next is Archie Volume 3, and that is by Mark Wade and Joe Esma. I really enjoyed this one. It wasn't... 
the best Archie comic ever, but it was still enjoyable. I think it might have been my least favorite of this series so far, but uh, yeah. I really enjoyed the characters, Jughead was again so good in this, so yeah. And finally, I read and completed Archie Volume 4 by Mark Wade and Pete Woods, and this one was amazing. It was one of the best uh, trades of this series, and the ending made me cry, <laughs> and it was pretty freaking good. So yeah, I actually completed three books, graphic novels, during the uh, weekend, and I finalized one book. So that is pretty freaking amazing from, for someone who is in her finals. And it's tired as hell and has no energy whatsoever. So yeah. The one I'm currently reading is The Comet Seekers by Ellen Sedgwick. And I only read like 10 pages of this or 15, something like that. It's pretty interesting so far. I think it's gonna be about two uh, characters that are in the Antarctica. And I think there's dual uh, historical points of views. So I don't know. I'll check in back with you with some news of this. Now I need to go charge my uh, camera's battery before it dies on me. So see you in a bit. And I am also currently editing my Christmas song uh, book tag. Yes, I am using Movie Maker on Windows because I have no money to spend on anything else. But uh, yeah. That's what I'm currently doing, and it is pretty freaking cringy. It has been snowing all morning. Don't know if you can see it. Don't know, but it is non-stop snowing. It's not a big snow, but it is still non-stop snowing. So, let me turn the camera. Hi, everyone. Um... It is now December 12th, 12th, December 12th, um, and I, uh, finals week finally started, um, which means I have a bit more free time for myself, which means I have been reading quite a lot, um, in the past, uh, two days, today and yesterday, <laughs> The first thing um, I've been today, I've been reading The Comet Seekers by Ellen Sedgwick. Um, and yeah, I am currently 90 pages into it and it is very good. The writing is very good, the story is very interesting. So it's very fun and I've just been reading all morning long, just relaxing here in my cozy corner. Let me show you. So this is my corner where I've been reading all morning and it is just super cozy and fun with the lot of light and uh, natural light uh, coming through the windows. I just really enjoy that. Um, I'm gonna miss that <laughs> when I go back home. Um, it's my final full day here at my parents which makes me a bit sad so I am enjoying as much as I can of the reading time I can get right here in this beautiful corner um, sorry I was looking at a car passing by um, the snow is pretty crazy but it is very fun to be in the Christmassy mood um, so yeah I'm gonna keep reading on this a little bit um, at least like a couple of pages then I'm gonna eat and then I'll go back to school work because I just wanted to enjoy this morning relaxing um, because this afternoon I have to do um, some some um, last minute reviewing and my uh, exam afterwards at around 3 o'clock so I will uh, show you another book I have been uh, reading uh, let me just get up yeah, I know it's in renovation so just ignore that unfinished part of my house um, so Yesterday I uh, listened to 8 hours of Falling Kingdoms on my phone in Audible, let me show you. I have officially finished uh, Falling Kingdoms on audio, 
which is very exciting. Um, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Um, my first time reading this book uh, got me hooked and obsessed with this series and now I am just not loving the characters as, mu as much. Uh, Cleo is a pain in the ass. <laughs> I started reading uh, Rebel Spring. Um, I only read seven minutes of it last night because I was too tired. But uh, yeah, so I've been re reading uh, The Fallen Kingdoms on audio. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep on reading on audio today. Might just uh, keep on reading The Comet Seekers because it is so good. Uh, so yeah, I will update you guys later with um, more reading updates. Uh, but now I think I'm gonna go eat and start school things. Again, so I can finally push through and there's only gonna be my exams left. So, right back to that. So, that is it guys for this week's vlog. Uh, please let me know down below if you enjoyed this uh, type of video. Um, if you did, uh, let me know what I could improve with those vlogs, what you would like to see more of. Uh, please let me know so I can, uh, you know... <laughs> improve this please leave a like if you enjoyed this subscribe to my channel to see more of those vlogs and have a very lovely day i will see you all in the next one bye